June 15, 2021. Alas, California has lifted its all of its government-related COVID-19 policies, including its mask, at least if you're fully vaccinated or not, as well as social distancing orders. Therefore, many theme parks have reopened back up to full capacity. So, a couple of days have passed by, and now it's been five days later ever since that day. So, where was the first place that we went where the park was full capacity? Universal Studios Hollywood. June 20th, 2021. Alas, after California's full economic reopening, we figured that it was time for us to go back to Universal Studios Hollywood. In case if you're wondering why we decided not to go back while they were still doing the COVID rules, is because they were not selling the Platinum Pass by the time that they were doing the COVID rules where all the COVID rules still applied. So we decided to hold it off for a bit until they start selling the Platinum Pass, which just so happened to be after all the COVID rules were lifted. And now that they start selling it again, we decided to finally go to Universal Studios Hollywood for the first time since 2018. So let's see how it goes. Alright everyone, so we all just arrived at Universal Studios Hollywood. So where's the first area that we go to you at? The gift shop. Ah oh, truly, the greatest ride in the world. Ah oh, yes, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, the real version. Oh, not to mention I have been able to record on some of the rides. So if you guys want to see the POVs, there is a link in the description below to the playlist of all the POVs I've done for this park. So, let's go ahead. Oh, and spoiler alert, all of the other rides here are nowhere near as good as the gift shop. A good example of this would be like this ride. Huh, wonder what this book does. Oh, dang it, it's, it's fake. Anyway. Not home day. Now your souls belong to me. <laughs> Just kidding, everything I said previously was the complete opposite. In fact, that's actually my personal favorite ride at the park. However, let's see if Jurassic World changes that. Until then... Yeah, frick you Megatron, I'm on Team Optimus Prime. You guys are my navigators, so if anyone sees trouble... Uh oh, that's trouble alright. Watch out! It's Ravage! He's after the Allspark! Your 
we do? Never. No more running recruits. He wants the Oscar. He can have it. Oh no. All right, so after surviving that, thank God. Wait a minute, what's that Disneyland ad over there doing when I could see it from a Universal part? Anyway, Super Nintendo World? The Mario Kart ride? Forgot what it was called, by the way. Oh God, we're entering a cave? I have a very bad feeling about this. From our movie The Flintstones. A couple fine, fast, and furious cars. Don't forget this Friday, June 25th, F9 The Fast Saga opens with Vin Diesel. That'll be a great film. Oh, there it is the Gyrosphere and the Jeep Wrangler Sahara from Jurassic World. Well, when I see the Gyrosphere in the Jeep, I'm reminded of the location that we're headed to next. But we cannot get to this location by driving a car or even a tram. We have to go by boat on the left hand so, side. So, I guess this is the only remnant of Jurassic Park that we have here since the Jurassic Park ride was replaced with Jurassic World. And yet I don't even know why they had this while they had Jurassic Park. Oh God, no. And we've got a high chance of five of the Huh, that's weird. I never knew that there would be thunder during sunny weather. Oh, it's fake. Oh, God, what the heck? Huh, this place isn't exactly what I remember, if I'm being honest. Something about it just feels new, like the paint and everything. And we are approximately at the halfway wow. mark of the tour. Yes. Just want to remind everyone, please remain seated during the entire tour. Studio is private property, and if at any time during the tour, you drop your phone, or you just cannot wait to use the restroom, pull the red cord to get my attention. I will be glad to assist you, but do remain seated. Thank you for doing that. Look at this, we crossed the border into the Old West. But the, but the U.S. was the Old West. There is no border between half the U.S. unless you were talking about the Civil War. And Frankenstein, starring Boris Karloff. This huh. Never know we'd be able to drive on a train track before. Huh, shouldn't be too bad. Oh god. Oh god, another flood? Uh, yeah. Oh uh, yes, finally we're on vacation after this pandemic. Oh yeah, speaking of which, if you're fully vaccinated, 
you're able to um, take off your mask if you want to here. Oh, hello there. Huh? Hello? Can you hear me? Uh... Oh, uh, yeah, anyway. Okay, I think we should be. Uh, this is pretty sus. Uh, oh, God, it's a sus shark! Alright, vacation ruined. I'm really having the worst luck today. Oh, wait, what happened to Whoville? Anyway, I guess now we actually have a proper vacation. Should be good. Wait, what? Are you gonna stop by here? Oh, well, guess not. Anyway, so, I guess we are going home. Wait. What's going on here? Oh. Um. Huh, what happened here? Definitely not what I remember from my neighborhood before it was like this. Oh, sounds kind of sus if you ask me.
Oh, thank you, Dominic, and your performance has to witness how. All right. After surviving my merciless level of bad luck on the studio tour, Mose? Yes, we are back at the lower lot to try. Yes, y'all just saw. We are going to finally be able to try the one and only Transformers The Ride 3D once again. Alright, alright, alright. For reals this time. So now we are done with this area. Let's go ahead and go up to the Simpsons. And now we shall do Despicable Me Minion Mayhem and The Secret Life of Pets off the leash. A new ride here at Universal Studios. Wow! Look how many lost puppies there are, Matt! I know! There's gotta be at least. I don't know numbers, but there are a lot of them. Yeah, there's a lot of them. You guys live around here? Or. Dude, I don't think they have homes. They don't they have collars. No homes? No owners? Well, who feeds them? Who runs their bellies, Max? Who throws them all and then waits for them to get it and then throws it again? Testing! Testing! Is this on? Here we go. Alright, you lucky sons of guns. Pops Puppet School is back in session. And this year, we're going to flash on mine. Hooray! Try to keep all your puppies home without having to actually feed me. So we just went on the Secret Life of Pets ride, which, even though I'd say that it's okay, like I'd say it's more for kids and not for someone my age, it's still actually felt refreshing to see that a ride, especially at a Universal Park, limited the amount of screens in favor of animatronics. And even though the animatronics were a little bit stiff and weren't very fluid in animations, it still actually felt good to see more props than the screens. So good on you, Universal. Ah uh, yes, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Huh. 
who froze this water here? Um, hmm. Guess we'll never be able to find out. Now let's go ahead and get a quick little tour of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. In Thomas, just like I Potter, the boy who lived, the boy who survived by the city's fancy for life. Ah, but your mom says that. It was a lot of the same young man in our flag. Lord Voldemort. The name alone strikes fear in the wishes of wishes everywhere. Um, excuse me, we reckon we should warn you. If you stay in my school, you'll find yourself. And I will also show you how to fly like ladies and gentlemen. Your journey is about to start. And safely you must go. And so the Hogwarts sorting hat tells all. Alright, so after this ride basically put us in danger again, and we survived, thank God. Let's go ahead and move on to our last ride of the day which just so happens to be across from us, and that ride is Kung Fu Panda Adventure. Something I'm starting to theorize here, all these five uh, posters right here might be the move that might replace the current Kung Fu Panda ride, which more specifically is called How to Train Your Dragon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DreamWorks Theater. It's showtime! Hold it! Hold it! Hold! You've just received a message from the Emperor! Ooh. My clever son has been asked to make a special delivery for the Emperor! How do you know that? Simple. I read his mail. Is that a delivery? Oh, that looks important. It's more than important. This is the liquid of ultimate power. Oh, with the Ming Hammer, the liquid of ultimate power will be mine. <laughs> Come on! Before she even changes his mind! I heard that! Just kidding! <laughs> hey, buddy! Can you give us a hand with these doors? Your hot sauce is 
sun, and your tongue is as formidable as your kung fu. Yeah, well, I've had a lot of training. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Bye, guys. All right, so now that we've finished that run, which I thought was all right, by the way, it's time to go ahead and go home. And now, we say goodbye to Universal Studios. But first, let's get some Voodoo Donut. All right, all right, for reals now. Let's go ahead and, and now, let's go home. And there you have it. This was how we spent our first day back at Universal Studios Hollywood. And, even though this day may have gone by fast, I'll assure you that we'll be back as many times as we can to Universal Studios Hollywood. And who knows, maybe I'll do another video once Super Nintendo World opens. So, thank you for watching, and goodbye.